Rock Builders, and it's your here. Welcome to 18 Things in Minecraft. And today we have an extravaganza. It's 18 Castle Gates. This is the series where I give you inspiration by doing 18 things. We have done 18 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, 18 dining rooms, 18 garages, swimming pools, tree houses, you name it, we've done it in 18 things. This is the channel for inspiration in Minecraft. So hit that subscribe button and let's do this. Now, if you want to come on the server, you can. It's play.usetheblocks.net and you can do warp 18 things or you can do warp 18 castle gates if you want to get right to these castle gates. I'm using the faithful texture pack, so it should look exactly like default, but just a little bit finer. And, and if you want your own Minecraft server, check out the link below to ownagehosting.com because right now there's a deal on 20% off your own Minecraft server and ownagehosting.com are brilliant, brilliant hosts and you can use the code ANDYAZURA for 20% off. Right, that's all out of the way. Tree is electrical out of the border. Oh well, oh well, discounted. Don't know where the tree is yet. YouTube channel Trempian, little promotion, yep. Built by Trempian, well done Trempian. We like this, we like this. I love his flags, actually. Let's start top to bottom, which is kind of weird. Oh, there's the tree. <laughs> there's the tree. Certainly, it shows you can build a tree with uh, dark oak and uh, stairs and planks. There's wooden stairs and planks built. Actually, quite a nice little tree. That is actually a really cool way of doing a tree. It's kind of a blossom tree with a pink wool. I like these flags, though. It's kind of sliding down the, the flagpole. That is a nice way of doing a flag. Hmm. Very nice. So what have we got here? We've got two... Kind of big towers as well, very simple little towers, just three by three towers. A little kind of a bridge over the top, which will be a theme. And then down the ladder, you can see you can enter that from the back where it's all defended. And same on that side. I do like how the spikes kind of line up with these holes in the ground. A few people have done this with the dispensers. So this is really nice. Help! Let me down! <laughs> Someone fell off. Okay. So that's the first castle gate. Hopefully that's given you some inspiration. Just another quick spin round it. You can see lots of detail here with the stairs. Very smart, actually, indeed. Mm, I love seeing these. I love seeing what other people can do in Minecraft. I always learn from everyone else. Anyway, so that's Trempian. Let's have a look here. This is Pyther. And let's see what he's done. So it's a very, more of a, kind of a less organic shape, more of a sort of strong castle-y shape as well. Um, I like these uh, spruce woods just sticking out there like that. I do like that. That's pretty smart. Nice big um, crosses on the front. And these are really cool. What are these called again? Oh, there's a special name. Is it matriculations or something? Where you could throw boiling oil and rocks. Oh, no. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> you could throw boiling oil and rocks and things down on your attackers. I think they're machinalation, machinalation. I think that's the word for them anyway. So well done to Pyther for putting them in because that makes a really nice castle gate when you've got these. It's an interesting little structure there as well. It's really cool when you do a fence gate attached to a fence post like that. It's like a little kind of a support or little touch of detail. Okay, so spinning around this, this is where you would obviously continue your castle wall on this way. So I like the way um, that Pyther, he or she has done that. And even if people get in, even if people get in, you can stop by hitting them with rocks. <laughs> just when they thought they were safe. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is very smart, actually. Very, very cool indeed. And again, some of these spikes come down. Spike, spike, spike. That's a real nice theme as well. A little bit of light as well with the embedded glowstone as well. A really nice work here with the spruce with spruce and the stone bricks. A really nice combo. So well done to Pfizer. And this one is by Dr. Pinsfin. Both these people supporting me on Twitch, by the way. So thank you so much to those guys. Uh, yeah, more of a, an organic -y shape here. More of a kind of an elven or dwarvish kind of thing. Oh, there's even a little gate right here. That's kind of cool to have it on this side. I would have put it on the back uh, myself, but never mind. Okay, that brings you up to this little tower here. And this is a nice way of doing a little tower. You've just got a three by three tower. And then on the corners, you've just kind of stuck these things on. So there's no brick here in the corners, but you just put them there and there, and that actually works really well. So you've got stairs like that. That's actually what you could take away from this build, because that's a really nice, because look, it gives you a little gap. You could look out and see down where people are coming to shoot you, and you can't actually push through that gap as well as a Minecraft player, which is really nice, actually. That's actually a really nice way of solving how to make a little nice top turret to a three by three tower. Oh, I do like these, these uh, signs. 
What a nice bit of detail that is. That is really smart. Look at them from a distance as well. Goodness me, this is only, we're only three in. I feel like talking about these for ages, but I better move on. I've got 18 to do. Dr. Pinsfin, well done. Absolutely magnificent. Right, this one is built by this guy. That word and then Achud, Achudodo. I'm not going to say the first bit, I'm sorry. Family friendly channel, you know. Wow, this is kind of bold. He's gone right for dark Rizmarini and rounded the sides again. Unfinished at the sides, but that's okay. This is where you would continue the wall onwards. So I like that. I like all the bushes, the details, the overhanging bushes as well, just growing down like that. That adds a lot of atmosphere as well. So other cool details would be, yeah, this little kind of T-shaped support here. That's actually pretty smart. I like the way he's done an upside down stair and then just straight into a slab. That's actually pretty clever. And then these little walls here to support the main, the main structure as well. Very good. And again, another great little portcullis coming down here. Portcullis is that kind of uh, gate that would be lowered down to stop people getting into your castle. So it really satisfies the job of being a castle gate. It looks very strong, very sturdy, and you can imagine the walls extending either direction okay very simple design over here this is by soviet pickle and i like the complicated designs but i do like the, the, the simple designs as well simply because it's easy to build wow he's got a bit of a, a kind of a roof in the middle that's quite interesting how he's done that um i would have definitely kind of built it up like that but he's taking the decision to no just leave it so you can really get around the corner and you can fire your arrows this would actually probably be very very easily uh, well, more of a defensive structure, really, because you can really see. Sometimes when it's like this, you can't you can't actually see where people are. So maybe this is a bit more Minecrafty, where you could just crouch and fire your arrows down like that. I like that. Uh, simple design here with uh, stone brick stairs and chiseled stone brick. Um, it doesn't need to be a monster egg, as well. And again, yeah, just super simple. Kept it plain, but we like it. Okay, uh, so let's go on to this one right here. This is by SKT Easy Hyun. And uh, this would be a good one to add in a desert biome because you're using all the sandstone here. Um, this is cool. I like how he's put that little chunk cut out there and a chunk cut out there. And it is kind of meant. It's not a random. Is it random? Hey, it's kind of a random cutout. Ah, okay. So that's a way of getting little chunks and random bits taken out your castle wall because the castle wall could be quite plain if it was just you know like that but if you add these in like uh skt has done it just makes the build look a bit more fragile a bit more worn down as well this is intriguing you can come in here look how much space there is this is kind of spacious i didn't wasn't really expecting that at all and then you've got a little bridge here and a little gap there again i would have put the gaps at the front here so you could fire down on your enemies as well just taking out that block right there would be doable like that you can fire down on your enemies but you should leave it in it's his uh, his or hers design uh, I, and this is a great thing to do for desert builds as well have these kind of logs sticking through here either with or without the, 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 the trepidorus maximus because that really adds a kind of a deserty house feel to it and what a creative use of these things you've got an anvil and well you've got three anvils and then you've got three hoppers and then one more hopper at the bottom that makes a really nice kind of port color looks very iron obviously indeed okay very cool actually one of my favorites to be honest uh, right let's move on to this one this is by tiger 501 she is a very talented builder indeed and a twitch fan as well of my channel wow this is a sturdy sturdy structure isn't it absolutely kind of epic wow so what can we pick out from this i like the use of the walls going up as well i would have never have thought of doing this one coming across kind of a guard for the portcullis i suppose hmm i think i would have done that but that, it's, i can't, can't, can't say it doesn't work i can't say it doesn't work as well nice little windows kind of framed kind of medieval style sticky out windows now I, I think you can get into this now i love this look at this you can get into the castle you can see out you can defend it from here i love that uh, you can climb up and look at the look at the torches isn't that clever torch on the wall in an item frame and then put into the item frame you put in a little anvil and it looks like a little torch holder that's uh, an absolute minecraft kind of standard torch on the wall design but we like it we like it you can go up so far this is amazing and, and again oh my word you can go up three levels that's insane 
And then you can come out here, you can wave down to people down below or just kill them. Uh, you've got this main hall here as well. Again, wow, this is kind of really nicely designed, isn't it? Look at the space you've got. This is almost like a base. This could be a survival base. <laughs> survival base as well as a defensive gate and tower. Wow, that is brilliant. Tiger, well done. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, moving on, moving on. Not even halfway through, not even halfway through. Uh, rest a P. Sometimes I have to have a, a rest after I pee. No, I don't want to joking. A rest a P. She's done very well. Let's have a look at this. This is, I think what she called it was a princess's gate or a princess's tower. Just stand back and have a look. Look at this flag. This is definitely a princess's flag. Pink and huge. That is amazing. What a flag. <laughs> Kind of a fairy tale design as well. Beautiful, beautiful structure here with the tower. You can probably see exactly um, how, oh, is that right? No, that's a slab. You can kind of see how this is built as well. Kind of using, um, yeah, this is the one and a half building rule. So it's going up by a half plus one, and then it's going up by um, one and a half, right? See, a half plus one, a half plus one and then you get to here and you're just going up a bit more spiky as well but again here it's still one and a half it's the one and a half rule for building towers it's really quite cool if you do that you've got the one and a half each time until you get to the top and you can go up maybe by by two and a half each time uh, as has been done so it's a beautiful beautiful tower i love the banner goodness me goodness I, I, how did she do that that's just kind of epic i love the little embedded pink wool as well and the pink windows and the ivy. Wow, this is very cool. Can we go inside? This is this is very smart. A little chest, storage room here, loving that. And then through here, <laughs> double pink bunk beds. <laughs> and you can climb up as well. Get to get to this room, store all your stuff. Very nice, very nice. And nice to see kind of a feminine girly build as well in Minecraft. Beautiful princesses palace. Epic, 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 epic. Can you get up there? Is that just decoration in here? Let's just, we're gonna break in, guys. We're breaking into the princess's palace. Maybe this is where the princess gets trapped. <laughs> she gets held prisoner. <laughs> I'm not gonna let her out. She can rot until she pays the ransom. Until her wicked uncle pays the ransom. Oh, what am I talking about? Right. A Chrissy has made. Um, Again, fairly simple design, but with some nice little twiddly bits. You've got these uh, little uh, slabs. You've got these kind of spider protection kind of um, Trapidorus Maximus around the side. Nice cracked stone brick as well, obviously adding in some super cool detail as well. Around the back as well, kind of open where you'd have access to... Um, oh, the gate controls. That's a good little tip, isn't it? in your little gate controls. I love that little door as well. And this is probably where, the, where, the, where it would continue on into the rest of your castle. Very cool. Uh, up, do we have anything up here? Not really. This is just the housing part for the port portcullis probably as well. And this is, yeah, you'd have access here from the rest of your castle and you could climb up. Do you know what? That's really nice. How's that? Look, look at that little step. This is, this is a, an upper slab. No, it's a lower, a lower slab floor, and then all you do is you put in that, and it makes a little step up. I don't, I, I get excited about the strange little things in Minecraft, but I do like that. It's pretty smart. Okay, nice little way of solving the tower, um, the way of building a tower as well. Again, one and a half, what is that? Uh, a half there and one, so it's a half. It's a slab floor as well. Little details, little details. Great job. Looks very strong as well, almost kind of deserty as well. Chrissy, nice. We like, we like, we like, we like, we like, we like, we like. Moving on, moving on. What would you like to see next, by the way, in the next video? 18 watts would you like to see built in the next video? Need your ideas. In fact, I'll try and put a poll into the video and you guys can click on the poll and vote for your next one. Another one by Trempion. Put your name here, we've done that. Trempion. Um, again, almost kind of a fantasy castle-y build. I don't know why that block's missing. Um, very castly this one actually i do like this and little cannons oh do you think the gate is facing this way i think the gate is facing this one wait what yo-yo this is yo-yo i thought this was trempion 
Oops. This is Yo-Yo. And it's facing this way. Okay, Yo-Yo, sorry. Yours was put backwards. Because these are cannons. Look at the cannon design. And so a, a cauldron, stairs, black concrete. Beautiful. Soaking up all the light. And then you've got a dispenser with a bit of carpet on top as well. Three beautiful cannons. And you can get down here as well. A bit too fat, sorry. Um, cool little storage room or something in here. And then down and into this level as well. Kept it simple. Yo-Yo. Yo, 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 this is great. Beautiful design, actually. I like the big fire towers as well, sticking up there. Fire turrets, I should call them. And then a nice little bit of roofage as well. Decent, very, well, much more than decent, actually. Right, we've been and done all those. Onto the last, oh no, <laughs> not onto the last row. We've got eight to do. <laughs> wow, eight still to do. Ruffo! Why is it sponge there? I don't know why it's put. You gotta wipe your feet or something before you come into the castle. That seems a little bit excessive. Um, I love the embedded emerald. That just little bit of green just glows, glows through as well. It's quite nice actually. Stone bricks kind of embedded with the spruce wood. I must say that actually works pretty nicely. More emerald at the side, and a base of polished andesite as well gives it a real nice solid feel as well. On the sides, got some little uh, decorative waterfalls coming down and a double a double portcullis. I like that actually. Double defences. You would have that in your castles. You have double defences. No way to get up here, but that could be easily added with a bridge or carrying onto the walls. But I do like the gates. The gates actually work really nicely. Yeah. I do like that. Right, moving on here. What do we have? So who was that by again? That was by Rofo. Well done, Rofo. So this one over here, let's clear my inventory. This is by Tiger501, another one by Tiger. She did the, the, the princesses one. And this one here is another Tiger. She is an incredible builder. Look at the detail. Absolutely stunning. Little um, stone brick stairs wrapping around really nicely with the turned stairs. She, she didn't do that. She did that. Sorry about your flowers. Um, and then around the side here, you've got, oh, that's cool one single iron bar because it's not joining on because of these stone brick upside down stairs beautiful 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 and then you've got some iron bars there as well good idea to put the the roof on sticking out sideways like that i actually quite think that's pretty cool um, can we get into this one as well i think we can let's go in this way so we've got little crafting benches and furnaces uh, charge tests and look at this epic little barracks up here oh my goodness how did the, how did she fit all this in that is cool i love all these little nooks and crannies and what a beautiful beautiful oh my goodness this is my favorite beautiful little space up here again we step up to see out as well i wonder if you could have maybe extended this out a little bit i don't know it's just something that springs to mind mm, i like it it's kind of chunky and a nice but she's good at the flags isn't she i'm so lazy with my flags but she's not she's good okay this one here is by the minor one uh, the minor o2 if only he was here if only he was here he could show us around his castle check out tm02 on youtube he speaks in german so if you're a german speaker and you want to check out his youtube channel then go ahead i love how he's put a moat hardly anyone has put a moat and i was really hoping people would do that as well now you're probably wondering about these this is something that's probably only possible, these rails, on on a creative PC server. Because it's using these barrier blocks, I think. Or in fact, has he got even barrier block? Yeah, barrier blocks. So barrier blocks are invisible blocks in PC Minecraft. Uh, so we can do this with the rails. It looks like a drawbridge now, doesn't it? So it might be something you can do. might not be something you can do if you haven't got PC or Mac Minecraft. But... Um, Maybe you will one day, so it's something to, to keep bear in mind if you do ever get a PC and want to do that. I love these custom player heads as well, looking like a little raspberry bush or purple bush. Cool banners as well, portcullis, and again, going down into holes, ender portals, this or end portals this time. Kind of epic, actually. And how do we get up? Can we, is it possible to fly up and into the castle? I guess you would get to it from a wall or something. Let's have a look. So we're here. We can get to here. <laughs> oh, that is pretty cool. A bafting trench in the corner and a little way up 
to this area. This is where you can throw down your boulders or your, your skulls and a juicy big fat cannon as well. Oh my word, this is cool. Miner, dude, there he is. Uh, yeah, we love it, we love it, we love it, love it. Same on that side. So that's kind of epic, kind of epic actually. Great detail as well, the wall blocks and the iron bricks. And what's behind that as well? A little bit of gray concrete, that works really nicely. Got to blend all these grays together. And good choice, good palette as well. The palette kind of means your choice of blocks. Right, this is one, it's very tall. It's kind of plain, it's using brick. This is by Sparky Dynamite. It's very solid, it's absolutely enormous. Take you a while to build in survival, that is for sure. What inspiration can we take from this? Quite a cool way of doing a tunnel as well. I never would have thought of putting the bricks all the way through like that. Hmm. It's actually quite smart. Honestly, how many people would have thought of put, putting those bricks through? I like that. And then up here we've got some nice, we've got huge, huge rooms indeed it shows you don't have to you don't have to do the interior you can do an epic kind of gate to your town and you don't need to have to worry about the interior or you could assign someone in your town to do that yep i like that okay so we've done all these on to the last the last three uh, actually we're going to come on to that one last let's go over to this one right here I'll just clear my inventory i'm almost picking stuff up this one is by three borsor three Brorosaur, Brorosaur, three Brorosaur. Um, what has he built? What has he built? It's a guy. Who used that? What's the password? <laughs> You're not getting through there if you don't know the password. So, oh, nether brick fences work really nicely as well. And I love that, all that red up there as well. Did we see that from the top? Yeah, you can see that red from the top. Not being shy of using red concrete. Gives that kind of splash of color and he's matched it with the little towers as well so the towers work well nice flags as well similar flags as we've seen before as well so we like that flag design um, what else can we pick out from this build just this whole shape here really intricate with the old uh, dark oak uh, stairs very smart indeed really works nicely and it bridges this gap the only uh, prerequisite I gave people for this whole build was to make sure you do like a three wide path right in the middle like that can we get inside this place i don't think you can get inside it at all it's just a good looking solid three by three towers with a bit of extra detail put on top okay second last one this one is by minecraft newbies uh minecraft newbies has done how would you describe this kind of a maybe a savannah biome kind of i don't know edge of it's kind of almost a jungle biome kind of Entrance to the jungle city, I think you could use this as. I really like it. Made by Minecraft newbies, yeah, you said. Yeah, I, I would think this is kind of a jungly uh, style build. And I'm sorry, the flames are squint. What happened to your flames? <laughs> your flames have gone AWOL. I don't know why that's like that. Um, can we get up? Yes, we can get into this kind of almost like cage like area here with the iron bars. Uh, I've never thought of doing like a big cage like that before. It's quite inspiring. And again, this is where you would you know, maybe not even need to continue on. Huge, super versatile flat platform. Really realistic in terms of Minecraft for defense because you can get everywhere and see your baddies, your baddies coming along. And a beautiful little um, half slab floor actually. And that actually works really well because um, you've got this raised hump in the middle. Um, to incorporate the lighting and kind of this passageway. Nice job. Right, this one here, I believe, has been done in the UTP texture pack. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to rejoin in my texture pack, and you can see a build in the UTP texture pack, and it actually just shows you what you can do if you do have a texture pack available. Made by Young Cloudy BRB. So immediately you can see the castle looks a lot better in this texture pack, or castle gate, I should say. And we've got jungle wood stairs made to look like stone bricks. So it all just flows together really nicely. And we've actually got slabs as well. So we've got sl stone slabs and um, stairs as well. So that's, this is actually really quite compact. It just shows what you can do with just one single texture. A bit of a, a health and safety hazard if you fall off that stair, boom. You hit the deck as well. I like the little rocks or pretend rocks on the ground. Beautiful portcullis as well. Some nice torches as well. And then here, 
These are shulker, lime shulker boxes, which are, are, are like this in our texture pack, but you, you can actually do them like that as well to make them into vertical half slabs if you are patient and creative as well. Guys, that concludes our 18 towers in Minecraft. Check out the poll or let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see built. Check out the rest of the playlist. I'll put the playlist into the description as well. So click the link on the playlist and you can be able to see much more inspiration in 18 things in Minecraft. I'll be back as soon as I can, as soon as we build 18 more things. <laughs> Take care. Ciao, ciao, my blocks. Be with you.